Hi everyone, I'm Richie. This is a joint work with Eric, Dirk, Jen, Andrew, and Inian. We propose an extension of noise contrastive estimation to learn energy based models with an adversarial learned noise distribution. Let me first review two types of generative models. The first is energy based model, which is in the form of an exponential distribution, where f is a neural network with scalar output. Evaluation of the density involves calculating a normalizing constant c, which is an intractable integral. Second, flow-based models assume that data distribution is transformed from a known noise distribution q0, and the transformation g alpha consists of a sequence of invertible functions. The data distribution q alpha is trackable by designing specific types of transformations. Comparing the two types of models, the flow model is capable of density evaluation and direct synthesis, which is sorely lacking in an EBM. On the other hand, EBM has few model assumptions, which is more flexible in form than the flow model, which is highly constrained by invertible functions. And thus, EBM may capture the modes of data more accurately than flow. It is desirable to combine the advantages of the two models, that is, the flexibility of EBM and trackability of flow. This is the goal of the work. By training the two models jointly, we end up with an efficient, scalable algorithm to train EBM and a better way to train flow model, which corrects the overdispersion of MLE. Moreover, the training uh, method is a principled parameterization of GANs, and it can be applied to semi-supervised learning. Our method is inspired by noise contrastive estimation. In NCE, the log Z is treated as a free parameter. By introducing a noise distribution Q, the EBM is learned discriminatively by maximizing the objective J. NCE has strict requirements of Q. Q must have trackable density and synthesis ability. More important, NCE only works well when Q is close to data distribution, which is usually not true for trivial noise distribution such as Gaussian. So how to improve NCE? Our idea of flow contrastive estimation is to use a flow model to transform the noise distribution Q0 to be closer to data. Why flow? Because it satisfies all three requirements of Q in NCE. Even better, the flow model can be adaptively updated to become a stronger contrast. To this end, EBM and flow models are iteratively updated based on a shared adversarial value function as follows. Here are two traits of the proposed objective function. First, the update of EBM follows NCE with the noise distribution adaptively updated. Second, the update of flow is approximately minimizing the Jensen-Shannon divergence which consists of a weighted MLE and a weighted variational inference, corresponding to mode covering and mode chasing respectively. This helps correct the overdispersion of MLE. Our method is a principled parameterization of GAN. Here's the GAN objective. The discriminator is learning a probability ratio, which is about the difference between P data and PG. In the end, if the generator G learns to perfectly replicate P data, then D is a random guess. However, in FCE, the ratio D is explicitly modeled by P and Q. P must contain all the learned knowledge in Q, in addition to the difference between data and Q. In the end, we learn two explicit probabilistic distributions, P and Q. Both are close to data. In practice, we use GLOW as the flow model. The left plot shows the result on 2D density estimation. Notably, EBM can fit the distribution more accurately with much simpler network structure. The right plot shows the quantitative in evaluation. FCE outperforms NCE and converges much faster. For image synthesis, we test on SVHN, CIFAR-10, and CELIB-A datasets. FCE shows significant improvement on synthesized quality of GLOW compared to MLE learning, and the testing log likelihood of EBM is better. To further explore the EBM learned with FCE, we perform unsupervised feature learning. The testing accuracy is much higher than supervised learning when the label data is small, and the FCE also outperforms other GAN-based or EBM-based methods. FCE can also apply to semi-supervised learning. The left panel shows the learning process for a 2D example. On SVHN, we achieve competitive results to SOTA methods.